Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines Tuning and Marine. This video is going to be a short video, but um, I want to give you a little tip on how to set the uh, timing again. So I just installed this distributor. This is a uh, Thunderbolt distributor, which I'll be taking out in anyway, but uh, I want to get this thing running on that. Um, so right now, this is, this is uh, by the way, your distributor cap many times will have the post numbered. So you can see there's one, and you get the firing order from this distributor cap. So there's one, six, five, four, three, two, and then back to one. Since it's a V6, there's only six posts. So um, in the past, when I've said to install a distributor, you had to find top dead center on number one on the firing stroke. So I say to watch number one cylinder, which is over here, and you watch the rocker arms. And uh, when you're rotating the engine, if the rocker arms are moving, and if the rocker arms are moving or transitioning right as you, uh, let me go back around the front here. So you can see the timing mark, about the timing mark set just about the top dead center. It's off by degree, it's not gonna hurt you. So right now it's at top dead center, but is it at number one? Or is it the opposing cylinder in the firing order? Which So you see that number one here with the opposing cylinders across the shiver cap. That's number four right there. So normally you can look at number one and say, okay, in, in one of my videos in the past, I say you take this, you have this hole, you take this out and you can reach in there or you can actually see the uh, rock arm for I think the intake on number one. So if it's moving, you know that you've got to go you know you got to take this mark and go another 360 degrees if number one is moving because you want number one to be still on the firing stroke. So there's another way to do that. Because I've got this remote oil filter, I can't get to I can't get this out. Um, I've already got this thing primed with oil. I don't want to take this filter back off because it's full of oil. And I can't twist this out with that in the way. So I really can't get to number one. So the alternative or another method is look at number four. Well, this is cylinder number four. This this valve cover was easy to remove because there's nothing in the way yet. So I took it off and I'm looking at number four. So as I rotate around, as I rotate this engine around and the timing mark is coming up in the, uh, the line is coming up on the, the top dead center timing mark. If I see these two moving just a little bit, I know that number one is at top dead center and number four is transitioning. So that's what I want. I want to see these two moving when this mark is approaching that notch right there, and that tells me that four is transitioning, so one is firing, and that's what I want. I want one to be firing. So with one firing, where it's set now, I came in and I pointed my rotor at number one uh, distributor cap tower here, and installed the distributor, and it's done. So that's how you can, uh, that's how you, that's an alternative method for timing a distributor. You don't have to go off one, you can go off of four, off the alternative, or another way to do it, so. Just thought I'd do a quick video to show you how that's done. And uh, now, now that it's installed and uh, I've got it locked down, it'll crank up on this position. It may not be perfectly timed, but that's called static time and that's good enough to get it running. So about to put the, the valve cover back on and uh, put the exhaust on this engine and this thing's going in the boat. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you enjoy my videos.